Hello everyone, how are you? So we are back with the results of English test number 1 and English test number 2. I am very happy to see that I have got uh, nearly about 54 responses in one week and one day. That is, we gave you the test number 1 on last Sunday. One Sunday was yesterday. And before yes yesterday's week, last week we gave you the first test and uh, nearly 54 responses we have got. And uh, you can see the summary has been given here. That average marks is nearly 7.78 out of the 10. The median points are 8 out of 10. The range was 1 of 10. So most probably we can see the graph here. Nearly maximum students have scored 8, 9 and 10. So we can say that uh, you people have really given your 100% in the test. And uh, you have scored a good mark. First question was in order to stay fit you need strength, stamina and so out of 54, 51 got correct and I will say those three students, those who have given money, vacation as the answers, they are wrong but uh, suppleness is the correct answer. So you should go for suppleness. In the second one, out of 54 responses, totally 39 students gave correct answer and one student gave in a hurry, 14 gave only in the morning and nobody gave any time. So the correct answer is gently exercise which is to be done has to be started very gently. So go. this is the correct answer. If you are not having the correct answer, you can note it down from here. The third question was which of the following is the best exercise form of the children. So out of total 54, 42 students gave the correct answer. Six students went for the option A walking that is not correct. Four students went for yoga and two students went for dancing that is not correct students. Swimming is the best exercise for the children. Question number four is the third ingredient of fitness is so again it is suppleness. It is already given in the paragraph. So 40 students out of 54 have given correct answer. 14 students have given wrong answer. And I would like to say that uh, students, those who have given strength and all of these, they must go for suppleness. That was something twisted. This question was some thing little bit twisted so don't get confused next time we'll go to the fifth question fifth question is to select the odd one in the given set uh, the first one was lungs then eyes ears then heart so out of total 54 we got 31 answers as correct and remaining answers are wrong many of you have given lungs eyes and ears but you will see that uh, lungs eyes and ears they are not correct Actually, heart is the correct option and uh, as uh, uh, you can see in the exercise part of the book, it is given that heart will be the correct answer. Sixth one is uh, select the correct meaning of screen time. Screen time is the time that is taken to watch the TV. So, correct answer will be time spent on watching TV and not the time taken to clean the screen or time taken to repair the screen or time to spend for waiting for your favorite program that all is incorrect the correct answer will be time spent on watching TV that is the screen time this question was taken from the meaning section now synonym of provide is supply many of you have given correct answer but some have nearly 8 students have given wrong answer for this so make the necessary corrections and the uh, correct meaning of furthermore is moreover it is again from the meaning section so next time I want you all to learn nicely. I have seen here that many students have given correct answers, but some of you have not given correct answer. Uh, if I will also say you before giving test, you must see the videos, you must read the book. Then only you will be able to give the answers properly. For the ninth question, we got the maximum correct answer that is 51. Only three students have given wrong answer. And I don't know who are they. They might be knowing themselves. I don't want to take their names here. But in the next test, we will definitely add your names. Your tenth question is complete the sentence. Hard work re requires dash. Now here, energy, stamina, suppleness and all of these. So for doing any type of hard work, we require everything. We require energy, stamina, suppleness. If any one is absent, we cannot do the hard work. So here, all of these will be the correct answer. So we can see that we got nearly... 54 
or uh, nearly about uh, 54 responses here and average marks is 7 to 8 so next time i want everybody to participate in the test so that uh, you can get nice marks so total students in a b and c there are nearly more than 100 students are there for but uh, we have uh, got responses from the 54 students only that took for a full week so i will also request you to participate in the maximum numbers these marks are good for you now let's go to english test number two so english test number two is uh, something like this here we also included your name your name is already given here so now we can know that how many students gave correct answer and how many students i gave wrong answer so this test was of 25 marks and the average marks are 19.69 it means if we distribute all the marks all the obtained marks between all the students all the students will get nearly 20 marks so we can say that we have made a nice score here the students which have given the answer has already studied nicely they have seen the videos which has been already uploaded they have made their minds in a positive attitude and after giving the responses many of the students have given correct answer so you can see the average is nearly 20 out of 25 and our range is between 7 to 25 so it means that no students have got less than 7 marks and some students have also got 25 marks median is 21 out of 25 so let's see uh, here we can see question number 11 and question number 24 these two questions have been uh, given incorrect responses means correct responses are uh, 15 out of 42 and 18 out of 42 these two answers have been given correct responses <coughs> now you can see your class wise graph is also here many students are there five students are there those who have given means uh, those who have got nearly four to six as average marks after total 42 responses you can see first of all we'll see the answer the first answer was tom second answer was polly some of you have given uh, mary also here in the first question also some of you have given sid and uh, one student have given scott i don't know why he is given scott because uh, scott was not included in the textbook itself i don't think scott name is also here in the lesson so that is not correct uh, again if you are going to give test you have to learn the textbook and the videos which has been uploaded in the app before you start giving the test now name the boy who hated monday morning we got 37 correct answers out of 42 correct responses then uh, second one is polly and third one is sid was sleeping when the tom was shaking him he was sleeping unconscious so out of 42 40 students got correct answer so that is a very good thing now fourth one what was the first excuse given by tom the excuse was he had a sore toe first of all he was willing that he will show his loose teeth which is present in the upper lining of the jaw but he says that no i will keep that for next time this time i will show that i am having a sore toe so that was the excuse which was learned by tom so 30 students gave correct answers out of total 42 question number 5 we got correct responses from 32 students out of total 42 and uh, why did pond polly rushed upstairs she rushed upstairs when she heard that uh, Sid is saying, oh, Aunt Polly Tom is dying. So she was shocked to he hear this one and she started running upstairs to see what happened to Tom. Question number six says, yes, what was the second excuse given by Tom? So second excuse was that, uh, again, I will say that the excuse which he, he kept uh, reserved for himself for the next time whenever he will feel that I don't want to go to school. That time he will uh, keep this excuse that his tooth was loose some of the students have given b c and d four students gave b his tooth had pain and uh, c and d is answered by one one students but the correct one is a his tooth was loose 36 out of 42 students gave correct answer 
now seventh one was tom taken to a dentist so i think everybody should know that he was not taken to a dentist if you will read the chapter properly you will come to know that he was not taken to dentist the all the dentist work was done by aunt polly so four students gave incorrect answer they out of four or three said i don't know next time uh, you should read it properly eighth question is why did tom wish he was sick so just he was not willing to go to school that was the thing that tom wanted so 32 students gave correct answer 10 gave wrong answer that is very shocking out of 10 eight said that just to have fun at home so having fun at home is okay but uh, the main theme which uh, is included in the chapter is he just wanted to have excuse from attending the school the ninth question is who helped aunt polly to remove the loose tooth of tom so mary the sister of tom and said she helped her by bringing the string and the uh, fire in a plate she brought from the kitchen and she helped aunt polly to remove that chunk of fire tenth question was what was wrong with tom's toe he got a sore toe he was just a swelling and little bit pain in the toe we got uh, 35 correct answers out of 42 eleventh question this is having the minimum correct answer that is 15th what did tom do to wake sid so if the correct answer is he shook his body also he groaned loudly also and he felt aggravated also aggravated means he, when he was shaking the body of tom he was unconsciously sleeping he was not getting up it means that uh, he was uh, getting little bit unlucky he was uh, having angriness in his mind that is known as aggravated so all these things happened so the correct answer is all of the above out of this only 15 students have given the correct answer and uh, remaining 27 students gave incorrect answer so this is the question which has lot of incorrect replies so students you have to correct it it is all of the above question number 12 we got maximum correct answer for this give the meaning of canvas canvas is having meaning that examined fully that was a very easy answer to give 13th also we got uh, 37 correct answer five answers were wrong here meaning of ailment see that is some illness that is not very serious opposite of that is alive but i don't know why four students gave wrong answer that is lifeless i was talking about the opposite word not the synonym lifeless is synonym non living is synonym without life is also synonym and alive is the opposite word so those who have given lifeless they are wrong lifeless is the meaning of the word dead the question was regarding opposite and now 15th question is correct meaning of moan moaning is a, a sound made by a person who is having some pain so correct meaning will be low sound of pain here four to five students gave wrong answers students you have to read the exercise along with the meanings and the hard words also so that you can give the correct answer here 16th answer it also has the maximum correct numbers out of 42 40 students gave correct answer that is tom 17th we got uh, four incorrect answer here 38 correct answers the dental surgery was performed by aunt polly and the dental instruments were ready by the time this is a blank which is included in the exercise now antonym antonym of foolish is sensible foolish opposite is wise and the synonym of wise is sensible this is the correct answer eight student those who go, gave thoughtless and ridiculous they are wrong they should now remember that antonym of foolish will be sensible no antonym of aggravate is abate meaning is already given in the book so just opposite word of the given meaning is abate out of 42 we got 23 correct answers now 20th question select the correct word to describe group of days group of days everybody knows it is known as week and the correct spelling is w w e k and the second word w e a k week it means not very strong so that is not the correct answer and the two students gave none i don't know why they gave none they should know that group of days is known as week sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday these seven days make a week
they are known as group of days you might have studied in the grammar also answer number 21 synonym of eradicate synonym of eradicate is destroy here also we got nearly 16 answers wrong and 26 answers correct so learn this meaning of eradicate you will get correct next time then the correct meaning of gasped out will be spoke in a breathless way 32 students gave correct answer and 10 students gave wrong answer so those who are giving wrong answers they should correct it describe tom from the following words that he was a mischievous boy many of you says all of the above disobedient wavered it can be possible for tom because he is disobedient he is wavered but only word which is describing properly is mischievous this word has been included in the textbook so this will be the correct answer and those students who have given all of the above they know tom very well but not 100 percent 24th question is select the proper sentence out of the given four sentence which was the proper sentence 21 students said that sid asked tom what was the matter but the proper way of asking a question is what the matter was that will be the correct way of asking any question so it first one is correct second one is not correct third and fourth is naturally not correct that sentence is irregularly arranged so that will be not be proper but i will also say those who have given the second option as correct your answer is also acceptable next time try to be accurate last question did aunt polly love the children everybody says yes but out of this 42 four students say no and maybe so in the question the sentence is given aunt polly loved the children very much so everybody says yes no and maybe we cannot say these answers are correct so out of 25 out of 42 correct responses we got 38 correct so when we will see the average marks it is nearly 19 to 20 marks so 20 marks is the average you can see it here 20 marks is average here median is 25 and the range is between 7 to 25 now let's see the responses of individual individuals here second Jhadivya Ranjit she scored 22 marks out of 25 marks she is getting three answers wrong so she gave some answers wrong here the answers which are wrong for you you will have the correct answers instantly for example if we see that 11th answer was given wrong by divya we can see the here correct answer is also given all of the above so at instantly you can correct it so this is the way to give the test i am also very happy that many of the students are taking part in the test we got 42 responses in uh, two days i will again appeal to all the students to take part in the test so that we can uh, feel good after putting a lot of energy here we also want you to learn and we can know that the, you are learning at home just by seeing the tests then only we will be able to know that you are learning at home third one Kalpesh Jeevan Patil he got 16 out of 25 dear Kalpesh you have to learn so much you must give some more time here again Kalpesh Patil so he attempted two times second time he got 20 marks so dear students if you are attending twice doesn't matter so you can give two times or three times that doesn't make a difference here fifth one again Kalpesh so three times he has given Kalpesh Jeevan Patil he got 23 in the third time once is better again Kalpesh Jeevan so he gave four times at last he got 25 out of 25 so dear students giving many times doesn't mean that you are improving in the first time only you should improve next time we will not allow you to give test again and again here next one is Mori Anju she got 18 out of 25 next time you should learn nicely then we have Das Rites he got 19 out of 25 then we have uh, Mori Anju again she got 24 out of 25 in the second attempt 
then uh, next is mishra priyanka rishikesh she got 20 out of 25 in the first attempt itself that is a very nice score so next one is keshirvani ishan keshirvani ishan got 14 out of 25 dear keshirvani ishan you have to learn nicely so that you can score more in the next test next we got uh, again keshirvani ishan so in the second attempt we got 13 next we have mishra adars anil he got 22 out of 25 so he has a good score congratulations others next we have again others 24 out of 25 in the second attempt then again keshirwani for the third time he got 22 out of 25 and uh, then ichha keshirwani ichha she got 9 out of 25 you must learn properly then again in the second attempt she got 15 out of 25 then in the third attempt she got 23 out of 25 then aditya pande got 21 out of 25 in the first attempt itself that is a very nice score pande kirti rajendra prasad she got 22 out of 25 very good kirti you must keep this up Singh Sinha Ayush Kumar, he got 16 out of 25 in the first attempt itself. Then uh, Sinha Ayush Kumar again, 24 out of 25 in the second attempt. Then uh, Maurya Anshika, she got 23 out of 25. Then uh, again Maurya Anshika, 21 out of 25. So he got less marks in the second attempt. Then we have again Maurya Anshika itself. She gave many tests. At last she scored 23 out of 25. Then we have at the 27th place again Anshika is there. At 28th place we have Singh Riya. She got only 7 marks. Riya you must learn nicely. Before giving the test, you must go with the books. You have to go with the videos which has been uploaded so that you can get nice marks. So, 7 out of 25 is a very bad score. Next is uh, Nidhi Sharma. Nidhi Sharma got 16 out of 25, near about average score she got. And uh, Jashivam, he got 15 out of 25. Jashivam, you must learn nicely. Next time, you just put some more energies in your study so that you can score more better Jashivam again in the second no no we have Gupta Anjali she got 25 out of 25 I think she's got 25 in the first attempt itself so that is very good Anjali keep this up next time also you must get out of marks then we have Yadav Muskan Harishankar she got 21 out of 25 that is also a nice score. Then we have Shristi, Umbarkar Shristi. She got 14 out of 25. Then we have again Shristi. No, we have Jha Divya Ranjit. She got 24 out of 25. So this is also a very good score. Then again Shristi. She got 20 out of 25 in the second attempt. Then we have Rajput Rishika. She got 20 out of 25. Then we have After Rajput Rishika, we have Oja Kushi. She got 22 out of 25. So Oja Kushi got 22 out of 25. Then next we have Pal Shubhi. Pal Shubhi got 19 out of 25. And then after Pal Shubhi, again Pal Shubhi 18 out of 25 in the second attempt. Then last second we have Tejwati, Singh Tejwati Gudu Singh. She got 17 out of 25. And finally we have 
Singh Tej with the Guddu Singh. In the second attempt, she got 23 out of 25. So most probably students, yeah, some of you have given tests many times. So after giving many times, you will definitely improve because you will know the answers. But you should only give the test one time and uh, whatever marks you are getting, you should share it to us on our whatsapp number or you can just keep we can share it from here also so next time i will request you all to give the tests one time itself not more than one time so that uh, we can choose the best student who has g g taken the maximum marks so again if you see the summary we got 42 responses the average marks is 20 median is 21 this is the point distribution chart from 7 to 25 so no students have g g taken marks less than 7 and the maximum marks is 25 nearly out of 42 responses two responses reached to 25 marks point here we can see this 11th question and 24th question they are having the less marks these two has frequently missing questions so we will see about this if the question is having any problem we will see here and next time i will request you to study properly you must visit the apps page of english one see the videos once in a day if you have already seen it also don't worry you just go through the videos because uh, if you will go to the videos again and again you will be learning it nicely you will be able to keep the things in the mind so from today itself we will start the second unit the first lesson will be the girl in the train you will get the study materials regarding this in a short time so again congratulations to all the students those who have taken maximum marks in test number one and test number two and those who have given taken uh, less marks they should learn nicely prepare well after seeing all the videos minimum one time daily if you will see once and twice daily you will be able to learn so after uh, test number two you will have test number three on the coming sunday that will be based on chapter 1.3 so start preparing for it now itself okay students so once again congratulations to all of you and thanks for participating in the test next time be well prepared and give your response only once if you are giving more than once we will delete it from here only one response will be taken into consideration this time i am including more than one responses also next time it will not be included so once again i will thank you for your all kind responses Actually, I didn't imagine that you will give me a, such a great response. We, we got 54 responses for the first test, uh, that two a week back. But for the second test, we got 42 responses in one and two days. Again, this test number two is open for you all till next Saturday in the night, 12 o'clock. So you can give as many as test it is possible for you all. And those students who are not giving the test, they should also give the test so that we can be able to know that you people are learning at home you are just not wasting the time so in the end i will just request you to stay at home stay safe uh, avoid going out of the house if it is not necessary use sanitizers keep yourself disease free keep yourself clean keep smiling and keep learning thank you